Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got another scrapbook layout and this is a really lovely photo which you'll see in a moment of my great grandma who we called Little Nanny and uh, she's out with her friends. So I wanted to create a, a kind of a vintage layout. So I'm using, this is a collection called Heritage by Maggie Holmes. I actually was given this from one of the magazines that I've done a commission for. So I've got quite a lot of it, which was, you know, really nice. So it's great for, you know, using for obviously doing my scrapbook layout. So I'm just going through the papers here. You've got lots of different single-sided, really, really pretty sheets. And um, I've got it down to these two here, which have both got that frame. And uh, now I'm bringing in the photo. So the left one there is the original. And you can see it was, you know, it had a real kind of distressed natural look about it and that real sepia colour. So I was tempted to use it and I have used some original photos before, but I put them in like a, I kind of um, protect them and put corners on them. So I don't ever add, add any glue to them, but I wanted to really kind of mess this up a little bit. And I just thought it's probably best if I don't. So I've cut the picture down and I have just copied it, just put it onto normal um, just cardstock through my printer, just run one sheet through at a time, rounded off the corners and I'm just bringing in this Distress Oxide ink which is called Brush Corduroy and it gives a really good faux sepia effect to the photos and when I you know compared it to the original they looked really really good I was so pleased with how this one turned out so that's the picture all prepared and I just kind of folded up the edges and all that kind of stuff as well just to you know make it look old so I just went through my stencils there and I've just pulled out this kind of pretty swirl I just wanted to create a little bit of depth on the background before I start adding the photo and everything else so I'm just using some of my um, homemade embossing paste and just with my spatula there I'm just kind of creating some texture really so I'm just getting that one all heat set and then I start to bring in some of my distress sprays so these are really old but I'm just kind of spraying a few there just to see which ones are going to work there was a this one's biscotti then I had like a copper and a lavender and I end up going for the what one did I just say how bad's that? Copper and the lavender, which you see me now starting to lay down. They've got a mica through them, so they've got a really lovely shine and they dry very quick. So um, you should start to hopefully pick up that shine on camera once I um, the, you know, it hits the light. Just heat set them just you know, to make sure that they are completely dry before I start sticking more things on top. And uh, you can see the lavender there as well. There's a little bit of the copper just catching the light, but it looks really nice and it just creates a little bit of interest behind the picture. These things are always hard for you to kind of see on video, but when you actually do them yourself, you really do notice it. So I'm just backing that photo again with some, it's just a real nice deep teal color from the collection. It was one of the backs. And again, I've used, it's a Dovecraft distressing tool and it's a really nice way of adding just that distressed look. I've used it on mini albums and things like that. So these are all matching accessories. This here, here is actually a um, handmade crochet flower. My friend Kimmy, she sent me a, a load of them and I just thought it worked really well. And it's also to represent a brooch because my little nanny, she would wear lots of brooches on her jacket and I know she would have had one in this photo. And I think you can just make it out. You won't be able to, but when you look very close, you can see a slight little bit of color. And I think that might've been one of her brooches. So I thought it was really nice that I would do this one as party girls. And if, again, this is only what my nan has told me because it's my nan's mum. But these are her work friends. They were at a party. And you can see they've got the party hats on. But my nan, my little nanny, is the lady on the far right who is holding that balloon. Well, I'm not going to say any more, but her friend next to her is laughing. And my nan thinks that, and we know what my little nanny was like and her humour. We think she was maybe doing some silly things with the balloon. And that's what they were laughing. And the lady... The second from the left, she looks a little bit embarrassed and flustered the way she's got her hand on her face. So, you know, we, we will never really know, but from what my nan has told me, that's what she thinks was going on in that photo. So I'm starting to bring in all the pieces that I've been preparing. So these are just bits I collect, those little kind of sprigs. I've shared them in what did I get videos in the past. The cabochon split pin that I put in the center of that lovely crochet flower. I just fussy cut one of the flowers from the same collection. So it all ties nicely together. And then the party girls, these are actually from Home Bargains, the, the letters and they're um, like typewriter font and style. And I've just again put them on that same teal cardstock that I backed the photo just keeping everything together. These are some wood chip embellishments again from the collection so I've just done a few hearts coming off there and then these are the sentiments that I've pulled out so I've got so very happy together and a piece of our history 
And I, I love doing, If I actually do, when I was looking through my albums, or my layouts, sorry, I really love doing vintage ones. I've got a lot of family, old family photos, and I'm really big on my family tree, and I, I'm really interested in history. So I, I do find myself kind of gravitating to these older style layouts, so you'll probably see them featuring more often. So you'll see there it says, Party Girls, so very happy together. And then at the bottom, it says a piece of our history. And this was taken in the mid 50s. So I've just put 1950 at the bottom there just to represent really that decade rather than the year itself. And um, I just love it. I'd love to have been there. I remember my little nanny and I've got other really nice memories and I'll be doing some scrapbooks of them because I want to do a scrapbook just of her as well. Um, a layout, sorry, just of her. So I just also use some of my metal corner protectors just to put on each corner of the actual layout. And then I finished it off with some Nouveau drops and some embellishments there. But you can see now in close up all that lovely de detail. So you can see the texture paste in the background there. You can see the lovely shine from the sprays, all the detail there from the embellishments, the ladies having lots of fun and my little nanny holding that balloon. Oh, I love her. And there it is. It's a really, really pretty layout. And when you use papers, a lot of the papers have all of the pattern on them. They're easier layouts to do because a lot of the work's already done for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll be back again soon. Bye.